Yeah, no, it's got no stamps in it at all. It, it lives in there and it never comes out. Hi everyone, I'm Mark. I'm a captain with a commercial airline on the Airbus and you're watching Pilot Explains. And today we'll be asking the question, do pilots need passports? Do they need licenses and what do we do with them? Most pilots start with a private pilot's license or PPL. We have an NPPL, which is a national rating limited to flying in the UK only. For that, you don't need a passport because you're not going to be leaving the UK. But for normal PPL licenses, you can fly abroad to France or anywhere you like. That will then lead on to the commercial license and the air transport pilot's license. For that, you definitely need a passport because you will be going overseas. Personally, I have to carry my passport at all times. It lives with my pilot's license. I very rarely use my passport, it very rarely comes out. If we are night stopping at a destination, then I would need to use my passport. But for general coming and going, day to day flying, the passport rarely comes out of its case. We have to carry our passport if we're flying overseas, we have to carry our license as well. So for example, if I did a hop from Manchester to Malaga, say, I would go to the security and I would use my airline ID to pass through security. The passport and the license would not come out at all. We'd land in Malaga, we'd turn the aircraft around, fill it up with passengers, and we'd fly it back. And then I'd go back through the immigration department using my airline ID. The passport and the license wouldn't come out at all. If we were stopping somewhere, say we were flying to Egypt and stopping there overnight, the passport again wouldn't be used to start with, but it would be used to go through immigration in Egypt. Any visas that you need for countries would have to be displayed as well. To get back to the aircraft the next day to fly home, again the passport would come out. They wouldn't want to see the license, but they would want to see the passport and they'd need to see your airline ID as well. At my previous airline I used to fly the Boeing 757 and we used to do week trips away in Africa. Again, we turn up at the airport, we wouldn't need to display our passport. We'd go through security like any other pilot would. We'd fly down to Africa, and when we'd land, then we would have to display our passport. It would be inspected and stamped, and then you could go through into your hotel. On the way back, again, you would need to display your passport. They wouldn't want to see your license, they would want to see your airline ID. You'd go through this normal security checks, and then once you were back into the UK, again, you wouldn't need to display your passport. If you were flying to America, you would need a visa, and you would arrange that through your airline and display that on arrival in the States. So the passport validity period for pilots is the same as anybody else. It expires in the 10 years that everyone else gets. The problems we have is that we can't send our passport back for a new one because we need it at all times. So there's two main ways we can do it. We can either book an appointment at the passport office, we turn up in person and then we do all the procedure there, we get a new passport and the old one stays there. That's very expensive. The other option is we can get a letter from the airline saying that we are on flying duties and we are required to keep our passport and then we surrender our old passport when the new passport arrives on our doorstep. So in conclusion, if you want to fly commercially internationally, you will need your passport, you will need your license and a medical, and you may need a crew member certificate, you will definitely need your crew ID. If you're flying domestically around the UK or flying light aircraft around the UK, you don't need one of these at all. Perfect. Smash it.